What up guys? We're back with Dongart. We're near the edge of the quest touching the sky. Um, we just got through most of that um, finding the way shrine shit that we had to do. Um, we're at this point here, locate Arch Cure at Werfer. Um, so if you try to go, as you can see I came down here, if you try to go this way you get a message saying you can't go that way. Right? Where is that message? Okay, for some reason it's not triggering the message it's supposed to trigger. <laughs> uh, normally when you um, go near this direction it says you can't go that way. It's not appearing this time, right? So let's head on forward. Um, let's get all this out. Because we're going to have a difficult battle. So confront Arch Cadet Werfer. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? Yes. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Yes, he is. Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Oh, well, then let's get these out. And they spawn like nowhere near where they need to be. Whoa, lag. Got a bit of lag here for some reason, I don't know why. Die. Holy crap. Die. Oh god, that was a fail. Uh, let's see if we can do something here. Attack them all until they die. We get so many shots here, there is another one. Oh, sugar. Go oh, and help me, Dramora, please. Oh, I tried. An impressive display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Oh, really? What? Okay, this time he'll pull the ceiling down. Just wherever you're standing, essentially, so watch out. Well, help, Dvorah, it would help. Holy hell! Okay. <laughs> Who's here? I'm getting attacked! Oh, sugar. Okay. Oh, sugar, he summoned a flame after that. A frost after that. It's the proper term. An ancient one. Oh dear. Let's see if I can defeat him without getting killed, but they're very weak. And they're not doing that much damage to me either. Let's see if I can heal. And so let's attack more frozen farmer. More out. Let's get the shields back up. Let's get the light back out. Oh god. Help. Please! Where the fuck is Savannah? That's what I want to know. Is she just cowering like a bitch? Okay. Okay, what's he doing now? Jesus Christ, that was loud! Jesus. He's killed the whole chapel. Christ! He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Yeah, of course he is. Okay, for some reason your controls are disabled at this point. So this is that. This must be that weird balcony that we were um, at earlier that I could see before. I'm going to take a quick save here because I know uh, this could be a bit of a nuisance. Um, this battle. Enough, Arthur. Give us the bow. I apologize oh, if you can't really yeah. see his face. I was the arch oh, there we go. Of oh my God, his Kill. eyes. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes. Look at his eyes, look at his eyes. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But yes. Ariel should have protected you. 
The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, oh, that's a bit better. Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Of course he does. Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire. They both died at the same time. Ariel's bow. We're gonna take another quick save vampire. here. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? Of course you did. A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood oh, of a dog dear. Okay. cold harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Okay, let's find out. Where'd you come from? Oh, Jesus Christ. I come on. I just do this, do this. He is quite tough, even on Master, he's a pain. Oh, Christ. Oh, <laughs> oh that's perfect. Let's just heal to recover stamina because. Okay, is he dead? Okay, he's dead. <laughs> okay, that was not that difficult, really, was it? Right, so, let's see what's on him. He's got an amethyst. Oh, he's got cure poison. He's got some useful stuff. He's also got um, ancient farmer stuff, so I'm going to take it. Um, I think it's all heavy armor. Though, no, it's light. So if I wanted to, I could go for ancient farmer outfit. He's only got boots, cuirass, and gauntlets. He doesn't have a helmet. I don't think ancient farmer has that. That's why I don't think I want to go for it. Right. So once you defeated uh, Verfer, this final way I will open up and Gelbor will appear. Hello. So the deed has been done. Yes. The restoration of this way shrine means that Verfer must be dead. And the betrayed no longer have control over him. Well, sadly for you, the betrayed weren't ever involved in this. What? What are you talking about? Um, he was a vampire. He got infected and he was controlling them instead of the other way around. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Why is, why is that a good thing? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel. Oh, I highly doubt it. It's been Good a long time that. since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're okay. Don't worry about it. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. Okay. You've but to ask. So, there's the bow, essentially. Let's go and get it. Oriel's bow. You get 12 elven arrows and 12 sun hallowed arrows by default. Um, so, Kindred Judgment is the next quest. Um, I'm going to temporarily uh, switch to um, Oriel's bow. And put the sun hallowed arrows on my back. Uh, I'm going to put that on favourite. This is only temporary, and um, it's only because there's a this last quest, Kindred Judgment, requires the bow. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick save here. Now that we've done that, it's let's talk not to Serana. Not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Well, if you say so. So what do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. So we've got to defeat Harkon. If we do, he'll have to die. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No, we don't have much of a no. choice. This has to end here and now. Um, all options there just lead to that same bit of dialogue. So let's face him. Together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're going to be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. Of course. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Um, so it seems that I never actually needed the field lab anyway, but I'm close to carry weight, so I may need to dump stuff in it. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is go back to one of the way shrines near the word wall um, and see if I can find that other paragon and show you the other paragon stuff. Um, so I can't remember what shrine it was, shrine of learning, nope. You can tell which one it is, that's, oops, sugar. that's outside the thing, so it's not that one. Um, shrine of sight, no that's in the corner, so it must be the way shrine of resolution. I'm going to go back and see if I can find that. Our port, um, our paragon. I think it's the amethyst paragon, and I don't have. Let's see, um, paragon. Right, so I've got four paragons. Yeah, I've got the diamond, the emerald, and the ruby. And um, the fourth one is the sapphire paragon. I think, which is in the the paragon portal. Anyway, the amethyst one's the one I'm missing. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can find it. I'll cut to when I found it. Okay. Right, found the, uh, the Amethyst Paragon. Sorry, I was a bit since I one there. Um, right, let me just show you where we are. That marker over there is near the Paragon Portal. So obviously, the Sapphire one is across from the Paragon Portal. So what you want to do is come down this path, come to the right, like go in the west in like, kind of direction. Then come down this path. This is like the top of this unfrozen lake. If you go all the way along there, there's the Way Shrine of Learning, which is activated by and in this clearing just over here is where we will find uh, the, uh, the, the Amethyst Paragon. I'm just going to show you what they all are, um, just to show them all off. Okay, time. I had to watch up a video to find out where it was because the description wasn't very clear. Oh, sugar, I'm paralyzed by Dramora. Sorry, Dramora, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so there's the Amethyst Paragon. I've been wondering for the ages where it was, but now I found it. Uh, so let's go back up to the Paragon Portal. To save time, I'll cut. So I'll see you up by a portal. Right, so here we are at the portal. I could have fast traveled, but I didn't want to. So let's see. Right, when you have multiple Paragons, when you activate the Paragon socket, it will ask you which one you want to put in. So I've already used the Sapphire one. Let's use the Emerald one. Um, and go to Forgotten Vale Overlook. If you remember from where we vote, fought Voslarum and Naslarum, um, this is that waterfall that just leads right into that lake, essentially, that frozen lake, because there's that waste shine up there. And um, follow this for some loot. I believe this is where one of the um, unknown farmer tomes is located. Yeah, this is uh, number two, I believe. Yeah, number two. I need to check how many we've got. Uh, this has got some useful loot in it. A lot of stuff in Imperial Home Chills don't want it. Um, let's see. So how many farmer tomes do we have? We have one, two and three. I know where the fourth one is, I believe. I'll need to check up on it just to make sure. Um, but that's the Forgotten Vale Overlook and it's pretty snowy up here. There's the lake where we fought Voslaro and Nassau. And that's the bit where we fought Verfer. Um, so let's go back to the portal then. Right, back to the platform we go, let's activate the Paragon Socket, take that Paragon out and put the Ruby one in instead. Let's see what it takes us, the Veil Forest. Uh, most of these are outside of the normal game world, so I don't think you can see, oh no, you can see one uh, marker, I'm not sure which one that's for. Um, all there is here in the Veil Forest is a special type of shield on a farmer. And there's a few trolls around the trees, so just kind of watch out for them. Who's there? Especially when they seem to attack out of nowhere. Let's deal with this warmonger first. He's holding the shield, essentially. Oh. Let's deal with you. Okay, and heal. So if we just search this warmonger, he's got Aureal Shield. So stores the energy of blocked attacks. Performing a pirate bash will release the stored energy. I'm gonna take it because it's useful to have. Uh, there's a few trolls around here, so you can search them if you need alchemical ingredients. Um, but mostly nothing useful. There's some potions, I'll just take that. Um, let's see if I just spawn out. Uh, there. Is Sana actually holding up a torch? That'd be pretty awesome if she is. Um, I'll better recharge this sword of mine though. There we go. Did he just fall right through? Oh no, she got he got shot through the through my body. Right, let's go back to the portal again. So let's try what um, 
one that we've not used yet. It's the uh, Amethyst Paragon I don't think we've used. No, let's go and put that one in. This is the only one I don't actually know where it goes. Or oh, Dark Ball Grotto. Um, I might leave that one to last, to be honest with you. Let's use the uh, Diamond Paragon. It goes to the Glacial Crevice. I know what this leads to. To my knowledge, it leads to an area with the other tome. Uh, but you can't really see it because... So this is the, the, the overlook to that big area that we were in before. Um, I don't know if this is where the tome is. No, it's not. It's just useless loot. So it's just a loot chest in that one. Um, don't think there's much else to detail here. I need to try and find out where this last farmer tome is though. Um, I think I might actually do that just now. Um, so let's go and find this final tome then. Right, I found where the final tome is. Um, it's actually in a bit just before we go through the cave to get up to here. Um, but to save time, let's do three words of become ethereal to, go. to fall <sighs> without taking any damage. The book that we're looking for, um, in that bit where I got killed, just um, as I was, um, just as I was coming through here the first time, I got killed in this little bit just here, um, in a couple parts of. I can't remember what it was, but I did go up here and look properly. This is where the fourth and final tome is, and some useful potions I could have made use of, but never mind. So we've got all the farmer tomes now. Um, what else is there to do? Oh yeah, let's go look at the Amethyst Paragon. So in goes the Amethyst Paragon, and let's go into Dark Fog Grotto. Um, I'm not trying to show what this leads to. Um, oh, that's helpful, Sona. Right, there's some potions here and lots of loot, but I think that's about it. Let's see if we can see what's properly in here. So there's a waterfall that leads somewhere. Uh, I'm not too sure about this, to be honest. I don't know what there is to be found here. Whoops. Um, so, I may try to ignore most of the loot here because I don't actually know what this is, um, in all fairness. Um, in all fairness, I don't know what it is. I know that there's a bit where the Celeri Graf's way shine is, and there's a river that flows off into here, uh, which is what that is. There, so you fall down here. If you take the portal, then you get to this lovely little chest with loot in it. Um, I think I've exhausted all useful opportunities, so let's go back to Fort Dawnguard and tell Eastram what we've found. Right, so we're back here in Fort Dogguard. Um, we still don't know we're not marking the quest, which is a bit dumb of me. Let's speak to Isran then. You have Aureol's bow. Of course we do. I heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Of course. I heard it described in tales. Yes, right, fight. We need your help. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what what Serana, is Dexia doing? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind, her own family? I trust her to do the right thing. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard, and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Yes, Everyone, indeed. Gather round. Come on, then. We haven't got all day. Uh, can I take that helmet? Yes, I can. Well. Empires try to attack us here. A lot easier than hunting them down in their holes. I suppose. Um, I'm actually going to put on the dog guard helmet just temporarily, just to um, just see what it looks like. Ew! That looks so wrong. Sorry. No, it has to go back to Blossom. Looks so much better, in my opinion. Just got to wait for everyone to show up. For too long. We've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will it was never his prophecy, he just latched onto someone else's. So they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight. 
Of, of course it is. So there goes Dexia walking off and not giving this a shit. Is the time of the Dawn God. Kill the abominations. Oh, calm down. It's not that exciting, really. This you have the last hold between the eyes for me. Prophecy, Prophecy is no more. Of course, sick. Come on. It's time we take the fight to their door. Of course. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Vulcahar. Okay. So, no, I don't want any training. Watch your back. So, that's is finished up with this. Um, the, the remaining part will be confronting Harkon and defeating him. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll leave it here. I don't want to go and do too much and then screw it up. Um, this will be a kind of a short part. So in the next part, we'll be going to Castle Volcar and yeah, see you then, bye now.